वेलकम टू पार्ट 33 ऑफ एडोबी इलेस्ट्रेटर जीरो टू हीरो कंप्लीट कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू ऐड हाइपरलिंक इन एडोबी इलेस्ट्रेटर द गुड थिंग अबाउट इलेस्ट्रेटर इज दैट यू कैन इजीली ऐड अ हाइपरलिंक इन एडोबी इलेस्ट्रेटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल हैव टू सिलेक्ट द लिंक दैट वी वांट टू ऐड टू द इलेस्ट्रेटर डॉक्यूमेंट कॉपी द लिंक बाय प्रेसिंग कंट्रोल सी फ्रॉम कीबोर्ड यू कैन आल्सो कॉपी द लिंक बाय राइट क्लिक एंड सेलेक्ट कॉपी फ्रॉम द ऑप्शंस Go to Adobe Illustrator document. Press Control V to paste the link. The link will be pasted. Make sure to add the complete link including HTTP to make it work. Use the selection tool to resize your text to cover the entire area where someone would click for a hyperlink. Since the hyperlinks are going to be hidden from view, stretch or manipulate the text to cover the entire area you are linking to. Change the text color so you can visualize the placement better. Stretching text is not a typical technique for editing typography in Adobe Illustrator since it is not very aesthetic. Good thing it will be hidden. Now there are two ways to hide the hyperlink. The first method is to turn the opacity for your layer to 0%. Once everything is set into place, you can also go to window and then click transparency and turn down the opacity slider until it hits 0%. Your hyperlinks have all but disappeared. You can still see the outlines of text boxes if you move your cursor over them. So you know they are still in place. The other technique is by sending your hyperlinks behind your design elements by right clicking the hyperlink and selecting arrange and then send to back. Now it is time to save the file to a PDF format to make the link clickable. Go to file and then click save as. Add the location and the name of the file. Select the PDF format under the save as type. Click okay to save the file. Save Adobe PDF panel will appear. Select view PDF after saving and click save PDF. The PDF file will appear in your default PDF viewer. I am using Google Chrome as my def default PDF viewer. Therefore, it is opening in Google Chrome. Now you can click on the link that you added to the document so you can see it is working perfectly. That's all in our part 33 of Adobe Illustrator Zero to Hero complete course and I hope you all have enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to master in Adobe Illustrator. By the way if you have not seen our earlier videos please take a look This course is especially designed for those who are brand new to Adobe Illustrator It covers everything in full detail Link is given in the description and first comment That's all for today see you in part 34